Okay. Oh, it's Gashu. He's got ears now. And obviously a giant robot arm body. Okay, I was really thinking it'd be Miguel next, but yeah, that's fine. We just had one difficult boss. Let's do this as well, I guess. Okay, that's... Gotta watch out for that. And that... Up. Gotta keep on the move, as it turns out. Damn it! It's so annoying to have to... Okay... This whole game, like every boss fight, is just like the bosses are far more maneuverable than your player character is. And it's annoying that that's got. Like, my gun should not have such a short range. Okay. Uh, damn it. Rachel's the only one in decent life. She's also a bit faster, so maybe this will work. No, stop it. Stop it. I used up my green moss, which I was trying to avoid doing, but... Okay, my, my arse is not enough for this, as it turns out. I kind of was trying to power through this. Yeah, that... It's not on a very effective strategy, if I'm honest. This is not going well. Uh yeah, I'm gonna die. Then she's gonna lose. I, uh, damn, I hate these, uh, I hate these boss fights. They, and then the, 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 the worst thing is, is the game didn't give me a chance to save. I should have gone back into the previous room and saved after killing the other dude. Okay, well at least I can do him better now, so that I don't lose as much life. That's, so that kind of, a small, so, oh shit, I pressed game start. Why does it not default to load? Okay, so, <clears throat> second go at that dude. Didn't go any better, because um, I tried to use Michelle instead, because I think... I think Alex is better suited for this fight, so I ended up just getting everyone killed. Uh, well, not killed, but damaged. But, I did explore that, that previous room a bit better, and um, there's like three, uh, four, I think, first aid kits around the perimeter of the room. So, I now have four first aid kits to use against this guy, so... I think I am right in that Alex is the best person to use for this fight. Because getting in close... Here it comes. Yeah, getting in close just does not seem to work. Comes. And 
this is easy enough to dodge. You just need to go sort of horizontally to where he is. Here it comes. Yeah, that <laughs> that I didn't mean to do. It's like the hitbox on this guy should be bigger. I'm just gonna heal up. I don't. I can probably take a couple of hits, but yeah. This guy with Alex. This guy is just. Really, yeah, this guy's got nothing. He's got nothing that can counter Alex. Like, he's got a gun. I thought this when I fought him the first time, that Alex would find this fight a lot easier. That's the only move that's a problem, just because it takes so long to actually move out of the way of it. See, if this had a sort of shorter um, rev up time, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. Uh, I mean, it would be much worse. Um, Yeah, see, on that, I just have to take the hit. Here it comes. Such an annoying move. Like, if I was more patient, I probably could avoid it, because I could just sort of position myself. I could just only take shots on him when I know they're going to hit, but I'm, I'm impatient because I've had to do this twice now. And there's no, I can't, I couldn't go back to the previous save room either, so you just have to do all of these bosses in a row. So now, I'm not going to heal him just yet, because I'm going to see what the last, the last boss obviously Miguel, I've killed everyone. Everyone, apart, unless King turns out to be a boss, like I said, he, he seemed to be overly designed for a character that appeared like twice. Like the two, I think the two times I had to go into that room are the only times you have to speak. I, mean, I didn't even have to speak to King the second time. I could have ignored him and gone in there and got the the disc from, um, from the jukebox without talking to him. But right, so that's the way I can. So there's no point going back there. So is the path behind him open? Yes, it has. Okay. It's nice that Miguel's gone. Go and get him, Gashu. Oh, you've, he's beaten you, Gashu. Okay, I'll, I'll extend the bridge so he can come and see, so I can fight him. So, if you don't extend the bridge, there is literally nothing I can do. Like, I can't access the controls. I cannot escape this building. You have thwarted us. Turn on the satellite and blow us up alongside the rest of the... I can't even go back because you, you withdrew the, bri the, the bridge behind me. But then, uh, as I've just said numerous times, Miguel's not the not the smartest What's villain the matter, in the world. Rachel? Uh, I'm running out of energy. Oh, okay. So this is what she meant. She said, "If I take, if she takes her energy hey, out to come on. power the machine that turns off the satellite, yet, Rachel. then Rachel will run out of energy. And if her brain turns off, she can't turn it back on because her it's dad's dead." Too late. I'm sorry. I can't. Go with you. Just Rachel! <laughs> so, so, Mr. so uninterested in this whole experience. Of... Hang in me. there, Rachel. We will get you out of here. Okay, Rachel. Which one of us is truly the robot? Rachel! There's almost emotion in that, Bryce. You Burns, all... we haven't got time to grieve right now. Yeah, come on, man up. Just because a 14 year old child just died. Punk with... Miguel for you, Rachel. For good. Ah, it vibrates. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Um, is her body still here? No, she's disappeared. She she probably but it went well well while well, Bryce was standing up, she probably flickered and and shrunk down and disappeared. Like all enemies do when they die in the hard edge world. No bodies to bury. Which means unfortunately organ donation just isn't a thing. It's like my father's died, he can use my Oh no, he's flickering and disappearing! 
Father! It's okay, because you're, you're, you're a robot and he was human, so it wouldn't have helped anyway. I bet you'll be fine. I bet... Oh, there we are. We've teleported in. Have you stopped crying over that little girl? It's like, Alex, have a little decorum. No! Look, it's that curtain man. My little mice. It's curtains see. for you, McCall. Oh, I should have saved that for when I killed him. Damn it! Why do I always jump the gun on my qu witty okay, one-liners? The game's up. <laughs> is it now? No, it's is it now? Not is it now? It's like by making it um, yes, it is now. It's always now. Too cocky. A second ago, though, it was just then. Yet. Oh, he's gonna transform. I love the fact that if he doesn't have a true form, and he's just delusional. He's like, you haven't seen my true form yet. <laughs> like, That's the same as your normal form, you're just making more weird noises. Okay. How can he do that? These terrorists seem a lot more... You know, they've got a lot more tricks in their bag than, in, in their bag than Hans Gruber ever did. It's like... Gashu, my cybernetic friend, you've died, don't worry. He, he's turned into a goddamn Digimon! <laughs> don't worry, Gashu, we'll fit you out with some with some cybernetic upgrades on the fly. We'll, we'll just find them in this... This nuclear power plant. And then I'm going to transform into a Digimon. Ow! Okay, I feel like... Everyone's supposed to avoid for the time being. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to defend against this. Oh, I do! No, I didn't mean to use my... What am I supposed to be shooting? Ah, there we go. Really? That's all you're giving me? Okay, I don't think... I don't think Alex is our man for this fight. Let's go for boring Rachel. Uh, okay. Up a life and then a first aid kit. Yeah, she can block, which is an important move. Okay. Okay, apparently blocking tires are out. That's fine though, because it seems he has trouble hitting me with that move. Boss! I hate all the bosses in this game, but the fact they've put in three really irritating bosses at the, right at the end is just... And if, if I fail, I have to go and refight the previous two. Alright, so I, I know how to counter this, which is just stand here. Because his attack doesn't seem to be able to hit here. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do about the last bit. It's 
Is that not hitting? Oh, I can actually just hit that whenever I want. Okay, I guess Alex just wasn't hitting it for some reason. Yeah, see, this is annoying because it's it's so difficult to get out of. Okay, oh, never mind. Because it's so difficult to get out of once it started, but then I just walked out. So. Damn it! Stop getting caught on the geometry! I really hate this. No, come on! I hate you! If you've got another form after this, I will be so annoyed. Just, I got stuck in his arm! And I used up my glowing moss by mistake. Part of me's worried that that's like a really important item and I'm gonna need it. And I don't know why, because it was just because it was in a really, like, inconspicuous place. trying to sort of power tank him now. I should really be a bit more careful so I don't know how to like, but... Right, so he's going to start rotating. Yeah, so I just, I just wait over here. This is the best boss fight. The boss fights where you have to just periodically stand in a corner and wait for a little while. I, the boss fights are a serious low point in this game. Like there hasn't been a boss fight that I've enjoyed. Like maybe the woman with the claws. Like she was okay. But it's just like the, the boss fights are, are way too ambitious for the the way the game controls. God damn it! How am I- I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Fucking hate this game. It... Okay, uh, it's been, I think, almost two weeks since I recorded the first half of this episode. Uh, I didn't have enough time to fight the final boss a second time. Um, because I was, I can't remember what I was doing, but I was doing something. I needed to go out, I don't know, you don't care, I don't know why am I still laboring on about this point. Um, the fact is I didn't have time and I was like, it's fine, I'll jump on for a, a, an hour tomorrow. And then it got to tomorrow, and I, which was a few weeks ago still, and I went, I really don't want to play Hard Edge. <laughs> and, um, I, I have to finish Hard Edge. I really don't want to play Hard Edge, but I'm back in. I've replayed the last two bosses, and uh, interesting thing happened. Um, I'm I've got better at the bosses because I know how to fight them now. And um, Rachel didn't die this time. I mean, she almost died because I used her in one of the fights, but she didn't have a cutscene. So I, I looked it up, and apparently this, this game has a good and a bad ending depending on how quickly you get from a certain point in the game to the final boss. Uh, basically, when when Rachel takes out her power supply, you have 10 minutes to get to the final boss. And apparently I was kind of either side of the edge. Um, 
because obviously last time I took too long and she died, and this time I did it. I'm kind of tempted, because she survived this time, I'm kind of tempted to go back slightly, wait, and then do the get, to get the bad ending, and then go and get the good ending. I might, I, as I'm here, I mean, I'll try and beat the boss. If I beat the boss, we'll get the good ending. I might then go back and get the bad ending, depending on how long it takes. I might be fed up with this game. That, that's the adventure. So, uh, oh, no, uh, I don't want to rate you, I want Michelle. So we're uh, here at the final boss. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. I've got to remember how to fight this thing now. Because I remember, uh... Here was the problem. I remember I've got to hide here for a bit. Not for that bit. Uh, I didn't want to use that. This bit. Right, so he does the spinny bit, I stand here. This is, this is, I remember this bit being exciting. Right, then I can, I can go and attack. And I've got to outrun these things, but I don't really... Like, how long do these things chase me for? Quite a while, is the answer there. No, stop walking into the fucking hands! Okay, well that was... That, this is fun. This is fun. I... yeah. I remember now, I remember why at the time I was thinking I didn't want to play Hard Edge. And uh, I, I, in hindsight, was thinking I don't know what I think I'm going to be a fuss about. I'm right near the end of the game, I should just play it. People are expecting the final part. I mean, I say people. The, the four of you that watch these? I don't know. And now, and now, now I'm in it again and replaying this piece of shit. I can remember why. I got rid of one, and I don't know how. I'm curious, actually. If I, and oh, no, this is his ball attack. I was see, I I was much better at dodging that before. I don't know what happened. Right, so now he's going to start spinning. Can I? shoot at him. Because Alex has a hard time hitting him, but I feel with time to aim... There's another interesting thing, by the way, that I found out. This attack, so the running attack, yeah, Alex just can't hit it at all. He's use. I was gonna say he's useless in Alex's voice. I'm useless. Oh no! Let's drop a first aid kit. Yeah, the running, the dashing attack does damage to yourself. But what it does have, and which I forgot about until that very second, is invincibility frames. So you can actually tank, if you do that, you take a little bit of damage, but the payoff is you don't take a big amount of damage. See? I remember now. I mean, I don't remember now. Basically, I figured that out during the fight with, um... Sword Dude, I can't remember his name, but the green, the blue guy with the blades on his hand, he went, <laughs> I don't lock doors behind me! He, um, I found a way to sort of get around him was to use the dashing attack, just keep knocking him over. Um, how oh, you swine the half? Um, so yeah.
I actually have to get the attack off. God, fuck. And that's how he does most of his damage as well. Just with his stupid, just with his hands spinning around and, and clipping. I hate this game. I hate this game and I hate this fight. What the fuck was that? That's new! Well, I... What? Alright, I think I've got him. I think I've got him this time. I've got him down to... He's down to a little bit of health. Right, I don't fuck this up. By doing something stupid like moonwalking in front of him. While he's doing his ultimate attack. I should be okay. Right, watch his elbows. Come around to the side. Time this. Boom. I got this. Nailed him! Look at that. Boom! I have killed you! I am Michelle! And I am not boring! And I do not have a drug addiction! Now give me your first aid kits and pills. I will do but I don't have any! Where's health and safety? Who designed this robot to explode when it was destroyed? Notice how much often in fiction things explode when they are destroyed, compared to in real life how relatively few things explode when they are destroyed, unless they are destroyed with an explosion. Like if you shoot someone with a rocket launcher, okay, yeah, it explodes, but that's mostly the rocket doing the job there. If you, sh if you, you know, disable a tank, it doesn't just automatically blow up; it just stops. It just falls over. Well, I mean, tanks don't fall over; they just stop. I'm saying a giant robot would just fall over. Here we are, we've teleported in. And yay, Rachel's alive. We did it. No, oh, I had no I had no play in that final Our fight. I killed that big giant robot guy. It's actually quite nice, because I used Burns and Rachel. I mean, unfortunately not on camera because I was getting Mission complete. Barrett. What? That's not your surname, Alex! Your surname is Bla- Stop saying Barrett! It's Blade! Shut up! I've got this whole game calling him Blade because I couldn't find a surname for him! Don't you fucking give him a surname at the last fucking- now, This game is doing everything it can to piss me off. Me, young lady. I'll have you arrested. Alex Barrett. The annoying thing is, is that Alex Barrett is a perfectly fine name. I'm Alex Barrett! Where did they go? <laughs> like it's panning out to show, wh where did they go? What happened? Where are they? <laughs> Alex and Michelle just awkwardly stand there, going, "Do you think we'll get overtime for this? Like, you know, time and a half, maybe." Oh, the happy music. This is the good ending. Did we leave in a submarine? Why? Why did we bother? Why did we not just go back up? Like, we weren't that far down. We could have just gone back. Did the submarine leave or something? I guess that just about wraps things up. What will you I do guess now, it Mr. does. Hmm. I guess I could really use a holiday. What about you, Alex? What are you guys going to do? We have jobs. So, Michelle you know, we have to go... We have to go back to work. Unfortunately, we've got no time to rest. Yeah, okay, good. We've got another mission waiting. Wow. No, Alex, I can tell you, it's been... It's been 20 years. You don't. You don't. No one saw this and went, yeah, let's find more about Alex fucking Barrett. And Michelle... Who doesn't get a surname? So everyone, everyone gets a surname except Michelle. Although does Rachel get? She must have. She was the daughter of um, what's his face, um, Stormtrooper man. Uh, he probably had a surname, so therefore she must too. 
Right. That was awful. The annoying thing, the thing that bothers me most about this game is that it wasn't all terrible. Like, they were clearly, it was clearly Resident Evil's popular, let's make a game in the style of Resident Evil. But we can't do zombies, that's too derivative, so we'll do, we'll do, um, Die Hard, basically. But with Japanese, Japanese Die Hard, is what it basically was. But then they added, rather than having, oh, scenario A and scenario B like Resident Evil 2, We'll just have all four characters playable at the same time, and you can switch between them. I actually quite like that. That's a good system. It's, it's. I mean, games have done it since, and significantly better, but it's still a nice, you know, it, it's a good, it's a good thing. It's good, just good. It's a good gameplay mechanic to have sort of characters going around mobile. And it means that like you have good and bad decisions, like having. Alex around to fight. Chumper, what was his name? The robot the first time. Would have made that fight a joke because he was really slow moving and Alex would just stand for which made the second fight with him, because you had Alex for that fight, a joke. Because you could stand aside and shoot at him. I like that there's a space between the I and the N in administration there. So I'm just pointing that out as it's scrolling up. That makes me happy. Uh, it's gone now, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, but it's just, there were so many things that like, uh, upset me. Like, the, 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 I, the fact I had to rely on a guide so much. Just, um... Because there were so many things that were just so obtuse. Thank you for playing, Sunsoft and all that. Well, that's nice, at least. At least... At least someone's thankful that I played this game. That's, you know, Sunsoft staff. I mean, I can't imagine... I don't think Sunsoft exists anymore. I'm not 100% sure. They might do mobile games. I can't, so I can't imagine that's many people wishing me thank you. But it's nice. It's nice to be told thank you. Um, for enduring that. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, it just, there were certain, there were game, I mentioned them as they came up, but they were just gameplay choices that came up that just bothered me. Um, just like stuff being available, stuff like, oh, the, it's not a case you need to get a certain item to go to here, it's just literally, if you go here, an event will trigger, and it's not intuitive like in resident evil there were events that would trigger after say you beat a boss and then you have to then you get an item and you're like oh i need to go to this door to use this item and so you backtrack and there's only one way to backtrack for a certain, sort of certain parts and so they give you a cutscene when you backtrack through those parts because they know you have to go through those parts to continue the game in this it was literally just a point where they just went at some point yeah you just need to go to the uh, lobby on the 26th floor an event will trigger and it's like no indication whatsoever. There was a thing on my map, but there was no cutscene to say, do it. So, um, yeah. I, I'm glad I went back. I'm glad I went back because I've always wondered if there was any, if this game, if I made the right choice trading this game in. And I am happy to report that yes, yes, I did. Now, I'm doing, I'm loading up real quick because I found something out. And it, uh, this is another... I mean, I guess it's okay for... I don't know. I, it, it's it's kind of... It's an it, interesting design choice. But, um... Let's get this guy soon. Okay, cool. So, Alex has two guns. But you'll notice that there's the option... Arms. And all throughout the game, I never picked up a second gun. And that's because... That's not a gun. Hang on. What have I done? Oh, I... Oh, okay. Alex has unlocked the power of Super Saiyan Blue. As it turns out. That's not a gun! I've just changed... I thought I unlocked new guns. Okay, so Alex changes colour. I'm not going to go far enough to see what Rachel and Burns do. And it's just she changes colour as well. I thought they got different weapons. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure they do get different weapons. But apparently this is all I get for completing the game. It's just a pallet swap. And I still can't read what it says on her back. Great. Well, that was as disappointing as most of the rest of the game was. So I suppose it's fitting. Um, if you've watched this far, my apologies. Jackman out. Her <laughs> name's not Brenham. Why are you calling me Brenham? You look like a Brenham. Brenham's not even a name. And who, who looks like this? I don't like a Brenham. I don't like a. I don't like a Volt Maverick. Like Volt Maverick doesn't look like a Volt Maverick. He looks like a Doctor Wiley. Uh, what was that about blowing me up? Sorry, I was talking about your name, Brenham. 